China is home to half of the world's skyscrapers, and 70% of the skyscrapers around the world that are over 300 meters high are also built by Chinese companies. 300 meters is really the threshold for modern skyscrapers. Construction will be much more challenging above that height, mostly due to stronger winds. And China has been a leader in construction technology for building skyscrapers. Hello, people. Gerald here. I am standing on proof of China's mastery of skyscraper engineering, and this construction beast holds a record for building one floor in just three days. The official name for the building machine is pretty long and has given me a learning curve. The Intelligent Micro Bomb Jacking Formwork System. It is an integrated building factory in the middle of the air. The machine covers three and a half structural floors. The top level is for binding steel bars and creating the skeleton of the building, and the other levels are for molding, concrete placement, and structural reinforcement. That means multiple floors can work at the same time, improving efficiency while reducing labor costs by some 20 percent. This safety is the most important thing because this high altitude, this one is the strong wind, then there is the rain. 常规的这个挂架，在这个高空中三百到五百米是不平稳的。造楼机它最重要的一点就是提提供一个安全、平稳的一个平台，给工人提供这个安全的作业环境。Bao is now part of the team building the Great River Center in central China's Wuhan, along the Yangtze River bank, a new cluster of modern high rises. It took the construction team two years to top one third of the main tower of almost 400 meters high with the help of the building machine. The machine weighs almost a thousand tons, and it's quite interesting to learn how it climbs up as the building becomes taller. You can see here, there are every one of the colors. Yes, every one of the colors. There are 12 colors, including its air pressure system, which is composed of the ceiling system. The ceiling system. 立柱的油缸共同升高，会把这个平台顶升到一个新的高度。Basically, hydraulic systems lift the entire platform up while it builds up the tower. The one I visited is a fourth-generation machine. It takes it four hours to jack up. That's half the time needed for previous generations. 到现在应该来说的话，我们在整个从建造的装备工艺方面来讲，在全世界层面来讲都是领先的。Wang Kaichang chairs the research center that has been perfecting the building machine. I've learned that previous generations of building machines were much heavier, weighing a couple of thousand tons, but they could build super tall buildings quite easily. The market changed, however, after China took a different turn in rising timelines, rolling out regulations to ban construction of skyscrapers over 500 meters high and limit construction of buildings over 250 meters high. It's an effort to curb original competition for creating new landmarks as vanity projects, some of which are not needed. Because the building machine itself is a product. So, in its full value, it can be more efficient. 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 I also went on top of a much smaller building machine that's used for residential buildings. This is completely different feeling. You that kind of, I doubt you would be able to handle it. That is not a tower. Ah, yes, not a tower. You think that before in the same unit, our air pressure is what kind of air pressure? That is all about mixing the water with the final water to make the water pressure. Ah, 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 to make the water pressure. 这都是分开的，每一道工序都是分开的单，每一道工序啊，或都有自己的工作的内容，那都是分批检验了。As each level of the building machine is dedicated to one single task, workers can focus more on their specialized skill sets, and each procedure will be inspected separately, ensuring quality. Skyscrapers have been a symbol of fast economic growth, but as China transitions from quantity-driven to quality-driven. Is no longer just focusing on height and speed, but rather sustainability and what its people need.